All right, we got a special delivery today. Let's see what this is. It's my new shackles from Hattiesburg Cycles. We're about to put them on and see if it makes a difference on the Rockster level. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I want to start off by saying a few things. One, I'm, I'm super grateful uh, for the support and the, the amount of views and likes I've been getting on, on some of the stuff and this, this Rockster. Uh, I never would have dreamed that it would have got that much popularity. So I'm super, super excited about it and I want to thank you all for that. And two, wear my controversial John Deere hat. I, I just can't help it. So you Mahindra folks, you foreign guys, you just gotta deal with it. I can't help it. That's that's my baby sitting over there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's on there right now. I already had a whole video made, and it didn't work out as planned, and it kind of ended up being a waste of money. I, I I don't know. They might work on the back, but anyway, here they are. I put TerraFlex revolvers on this bad boy. Uh, and you can see the issue already like it is. They didn't correct the problem, even though this here to here is about five inches and that's kind of what I needed. It's just the fact that the way the geometry of these work, they don't, they don't do what I need. You can see it's bottomed out on that grease cert. I hope I can get it. There you go. It's bottomed out. It can't flex anymore. This needs to be up and basically, once again, back to the mountain point. That needs to be further up to, to make that work correctly. So that's a big zero, big negative on this project here. Um, they still might work on the rear. I'm not sure. And before you get to typing and telling me and everything how unnecessary they are, yes, I know that. I was just interested. I started looking on YouTube, and they look cool to me. Uh, I realize I don't need as much flex, but also the added benefits of of how your leaf springs can rotate and take out of a bind and everything with them. thought that was interesting. They do do that. I will say I brought it over to Flex Mountain over there. And uh, they they did that as far as that goes, but the geometry on the front just isn't going to work. They are a cool product. They're TerraFlex revolvers. If you don't know what that is, go look them up. It is it is cool. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and swap these out with these new shackles here. They went ahead and painted them and everything, so. I'm gonna put them on and see what they do. See if it makes a difference. All right, here's the TerraFlex revolvers. I got them off of the rig. Just a quick rundown on how they work. This pivots, this attaches to your to your leaf springs. And then that part, you know, it sits like this. I'll show you. It sits pretty much just like that right there. Um, so when your, your leaf springs in a bind, that bottom part spins. It's hard to do with one hand. It'll do like that, and then it's it actually rotates like backwards, which is probably not supposed to, depending on your your uh, geometry of your mounting and and spring and everything. Anyway, that's how that works. It's pretty cool design. Uh, just not going to work for for my deal, and I no longer need them because uh, Hattiesburg Cy Cycles sent me out their new shackles. I'm assuming is going to be included with all of their lift kits, uh, and they're they're heavy duty. They didn't mess around when it comes to these. I don't think there's any chance you're going to have any problems breaking these or anything like that. It's got to be like a three ace or something. It's it's pretty thick. Um, they look good. They leveled it out. Sits exactly like it's supposed to now. Zero problems. So. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to take off and drive and I'm going to show you a little clips of it, maybe about 20 miles an hour, and just show you how it rides and how smooth it is just to prove 
Uh, also, there's no sway bar on this. I've got it up to like 40 miles an hour and I feel completely comfortable and safe with it like it is. So uh, let me cut to those clips right now. All right, here we go, four low, fifth gear. And yes, I'm in four low just because it's, it's too high of a uh, gear now with the tires. So I just keep it in four low pretty much. Look, I'm having zero hands on the wheel and it's, it's tracking straight down the road. Zero problems. There's no vibrations. No issues. Just for proof. For this video, I did want to explain a few, a few things and why I'm kind of slow on, on content right now. The next things I want are going to be probably a tune, exhaust, and obviously my drive line that's the main thing okay so on the rocks just announced that they're working i don't know if it's yukon or whoever making axles chromoly axles but they're going to replace the the front axles with like a cv uh style connector and it's a, a stronger axle in general and then the rear is going to be a floater i didn't know it but your front your front is already a, a full float. Your rear can be converted to that, and uh, supposedly it's a better setup. I think you have two bearings instead of one, and it's just it's just all together better. Um, so here's my situation. I can buy a gear set, buy a locker, any kind of traction device, and put it in there. But then I'd be turning around and buy them again uh, when these roll out because it's a different sp spline count. I think the ones they're gonna sell is like a 30 uh, spline. The Rockster is a, I forgot, I wanna say like 18 or something. I could be completely off on that. So basically if I was to buy these things, then I'd be swapping them out here in a month or two anyways. And I wanna go all out, I don't wanna deal with with axles breaking, I don't want this front end because this will break. The The yokes on the front end here are weak. Uh, there's a guy named Alex on Facebook. He's in the Rockstar group I'm in. He already broke the uh, yoke right here or the U-joint and all that. And uh, that's, just, that's just not cool. Those things are too small. But then again, I mean, that's what you get when you go bigger tire and then you're romping on it. But, you know, hey, it's it's fine. Uh, I just don't want to be out in the woods and be worried about that. So, yes, I could take it mudding. I could do this or that, but I'd have open differentials. You got one spin in the front, one in the rear. It's just, it's one of them things. It'd be kind of embarrassing to me, I guess, if I had this big, bad rig and I only got one wheel spinning on each side uh so i don't know we we might fill it around with it i know you guys want to see it in some mud and i might do something around the place over here but as far as that goes i'm kind of limited and hopefully you understand my position uh, i don't want to spend twenty three hundred dollars on traction devices and gearing and then turn around and have to redo all of it for the proper stuff so We'll see how that goes, but uh, the last thing I want to say is thank you for the support. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want updates on this, on this channel and this bad boy right here. Um, and we'll see you next time.